Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about detection of multivariate outliers. Uh, as a first step to detection of the multivariate outliers, we would need latent variable scores. If you're going to analyze your data in SPSS, you would need the scores that you have calculated in SPSS. If you're going to do your analysis in Smart PLS or any other software, you would need this from your respective software. Now, how do we calculate the latent variable scores in SPSS and Smart PLS? I'm going to paste their links of my videos in the description below. You can use that for as the beginning step. Once you have received, calculated your latent variable scores, all you would need to do is Paste your latent variable scores on a blank data sheet of SPSS. This is my blank SPSS data sheet. I'm going to paste my scores here. I'm clicking on edit and I'm going to paste it with the variable names. So this is my data. These, this is my case ID and these are all my variables. Now, just to clarify that how this model is operating, let me tell you that these first, uh, these variables over here, uh, let me rearrange it so that it's, you know, easier for us to understand. Um, now it would be better. Look, these first four variables that I have, these are my independent variables. Then this variable over here, this is my mediator. And this is my final dependent variable. So I will have to conduct the multivariate outlier in two steps. First, I'll calculate the outliers with respect to my mediator. Then I'll calculate the outliers with respect to my final dependent variable. Let's start the process. We'll click on Analyze. Go to the Regression. Click on linear regression. In my dependent variable, as a first step, I will place my mediator. Uh, in the independent variable, definitely it's all my independent variables that will go over here. Okay, now I have this button over here that says save. I'll click on save and I'll check Mahala notice. And I'll click continue and I'll click okay now i'm not interested in the regression analysis that has been done in the background all i'm in interested in is this column that's added in my data that is mahala nobis mah distance one now what next i have to do is i have to calculate a chi square distribution probability of uh, how much chances do i have that this value would occur. For that, I'll click on transform. I'll click on compute variable. I'll name my variable as P M A H underscore one. And I'll calculate its value using one of the functions that are given over here. I'll click on CDF and in this list, I have this chi-square distribution. I'll use this function. Now, this function requires two basic entries. One is the Mahala Nobis distance that I'm placing here. And the second one, what it requires is uh, the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom in this case would be the number of variables that are involved in the calculation. I had five variables, one as my dependent variable and four as my independent variables. So I'll click four over here. Now, I'll add one more aspect here. I will subtract this value from one. So one minus CDF chi-square and that is what it would give me as the probability okay now in my data it has calculated the probability of how, what are the chances that this would occur now 
I need to increase the number of decimal places that this data is represented with. I'm making it five. That makes it convenient for me to analyze the data. Next, I will right click on this column and I will sort ascending for it. Now, any value that is with the probability of less than 0 0.001. Let me repeat this value, 0 0.001 would be eliminated from this data. That would be noted as the data that should be eliminated. Now, if you look at these first values over here, this is less than 0 0.01. This one is also less than 0 0.01. This one, this one. So all of these four values that I have are have a value of less than 0.01. I'll note down the case numbers. And these are 247, 83, 196, and 362. Now, these were the outliers that I calculated with respect to the mediator. I'll repeat the whole process for my dependent variable. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Regression, linear, this time since it's for the dependent variable, I'm going to put BAAV. And I have placed my mediator in the group of independent variables. In the save, it would still remain Mahala Nobis. And OK. And we have our Mahala Novus distance calculated here. I'm going to calculate the probability again. Transform. Calculate variable. I'll change the name of the variable to underscore 2. And with the Mahala Novus variable that was already there, I'll just simply replace it with 2. Now, I have not five variables. Instead, I have six variables. And that's it. And it's calculated. I'm again increasing the number of decimals to 5. And here we are. I'm going to click on the variable data. And I'll click on sort ascending. And here we go again. Now this time again, it's 1, 2, 3, OK. Three. And then these are the borderline cases. I would not want to keep them because, you know, if I keep them later on, I will have certain problems with them. So I have in total six cases which are multivariate outlier with respect to my final dependent variable. So I'm noting down their numbers. It's 11, 11, 247, 450. 83, 196, and 362. Now, the case numbers that we have noted here, we will remove them from, from our CSV file that we have with us. And uh, I have it here with me. Um, let me check where it is. Now, the case numbers that you have noted down from the Mahala Novus distance, you will delete them from the CSV file that you have with the data. Now, 
uh, I have these numbers as 11 so I'm I'm going to select this row delete it one by one for each each outlier case that I have I deleted 11 that I then I am going to for looking for 83 that's what I remember what I have 83 select delete and now one by one I locate all the records that I have in my data I'll delete them and then finally I'll re-upload my data into my smart PLS or my SPSS uh, wherever I'm making my analysis but this is how we treat our multivariate outliers you detect them through the Mahala Nobis distance probability through the chi-square distribution and then you delete them or weed them out from your data that's all what you do in your Mahala Nobis distance outlier detection and treatment and that's all for this video. Thank you so much for joining in today. See you again in the next video. Bye for now.